the master watchmaker has arrayed in front of him some of the key components. First of all, the uh, tourbillon cage, which is fashioned out of titanium. And uh, in fact, the shape of the arms of the cage is inspired by the original 1801 Abraham Louis Breguet patent. And next to it is the uh, balance wheel. Balance wheel also in titanium with uh, a very unusual, and this was a world first, silicium spiral with a Breguet overcoil. Behind is the upper bridge for the tourbillon that's been hand finished. If you look closely at the anglage, you'll see the sharp interior angles, which shows that it could only have been done by hand using a file, not an electric tool. Arrayed along the top is the extremely fine chain, which is used for the powering of the tourbillon because this is a fusée and chain and the chain is therefore in the powertrain for the tourbillon. 180 separate links on that extremely uh, fine and delicate chain and we have as well the movement itself. So the operation now is to take this very delicate assembly of the balance wheel with its silicium spiral and the watchmaker is now placing it inside the tourbillon cage. And here you can see already the balance wheel is, is able to turn. The screws to hold it in place are minuscule. The screwdrivers are in fact precisely calibrated to apply just the right amount of torque. There are different colors so that the watchmaker uses the screwdriver that is calibrated to just the right degree of tightness for the particular screw in this particular part of the movement. So now the moment has come to take the assembly of the tourbillon and the cage and to uh, move it to the uh, movement itself. Now comes the uh, top bridge for the tourbillon. And now we have the uh, tourbillon mounted into the movement, its top bridge in place. When you heard the clicking, that was the indication that the exact amount of torques, that is to say the amount of tightness that is required for that particular screw was reached.